croeso i Bysgota Cymru. Welcome to Fishing in Wales. Well, you join me this evening on one of my favourite lakes. Um, this is called Ross Reeve, and it's a, uh, a wild brown trout lake controlled by the Aberystwyth Angling Association and uh, about 10 miles from Aberystwyth. Um, so I've been fishing this lake on and off for many years, and uh, it's one of them places which has uh, got some special memories for me. As a youngster, I would regularly come up here and uh, it was one of the first places I learned how to fly fish. And um, the fishing here is uh, it's pretty spectacular on its day. Um, it's a very rich lake. Natural food within the lake um, means that the fish uh, get quite large. Um, fish over three pounds here are uh, quite common. Um, and there's not a lot of Welsh hill lakes you can say that about. Um, there are some really big fish. Uh, in the four to five pound class here they don't come out all the time fish like that but um, you do get some of the cocker bondi here uh, start of June that can bring some of these big fish up um, and the great red sedge throughout the summer months so um, that could be fantastic fishing in the evening with the uh, sedge and skating on the top here and, and big fish gulping them down so I'm just fishing my way along the, the margins of this lake. That's where you'll find a lot of the food. Never any need to cast far out on these mountain lakes. And uh, I'm always quite careful just to work along the side of the lake first and uh, just fish the, the first drop off. Just uh, work in that area there, not too far out. And then always at the end of the retrieve, lift the rod up. Because you never know, you might get a follow off a fish. But I'm just getting that line out there. You know, it's only seven or eight yards and not much else I can do with this wind blowing in my face. Well, so over the years, I've had some spectacular fishing here. Um, it really does hold some special brown trout probably is one of the best natural trout fisheries in Wales so really privileged to have it available to fish on a day ticket um, and that's with Aberystwyth with Angling Club and with the fishing passport online it's really easy to book it's just over £20 and that's a 24 hour ticket as well so you could um, fish the river Rydal if you want to in the night for the sea trout um, and of course fish eight or nine other upland lakes as well all on the same ticket so if you've got a whole day you can hop around and sample quite a few of them but I would say Trisant lakes there's three of them Ross Reeve here and Frongo which is on the side of the road and Glandugan which is down the uh, the valley there um, they're, they're probably the the crown jewels really of the, of the club's lakes um, you know Glandugan is rarely visited it's a bit of a walk but there are some cracking wild brownies in that as well and Frongoch has got a good head of wild browns also stocked with rainbows and blues because the food is so rich on that venue you know they, they grow on really well and all three of these lakes are quite close together so they're all worth a fish you know on the same day access is very easy um Ross Reed, we've got a track coming down nice car park you know it's, it's fairly easy it can be done in a normal car of course from Gork is um is literally right there on the roadside plenty of parking there i'm on the damn wall of the lake 
deep this area and uh, just trying to get the flies down a little bit. It's so bright here. Just going to try and uh, let the fly sink a little bit. Usually a very good spot here. Yeah, I've got a fish on, on the damn wall. There we are, it's plowing deep. Oh, yeah. Quite a solid take. Um, I haven't seen the fish here yet. Bloody hell. Oof. Now the issue here is I've got this got the scaffolding thing which is propping up an old valve. But I think this is a good fish. Looking at that. Plugging away. It doesn't want to come up at all. Six pound fluorocarbon on here. I'm trying to bully the fish to the top praying he doesn't come off does not want to give up this fish well really are strong There we are, persistence paid off there. Only a short time we've been here actually, about half an hour. But look at that, so that's a, a raw sreath brownie. You know, just over two pound worth coming up here just to catch that. So I'm just gonna put him back now. Turn him that way. Nicely marked fish. Uh, yeah, sliding back. Beautiful. Well, I've had a nice fish out of raw sereed there. Um, only fished it really for about half an hour. Very slow though. Uh, bright east wind, not nice, but it's starting to calm down a bit now. So um, what I'm actually going to do is try another lake, uh, Glandugan. It's just as easy to change lake here as it is to change your fly. You know, we've got nine lakes to choose from in Abra Angling and, and just literally a quarter of an hour's walk there. We've got a nice wild brown trout lake. They tend to be a bit smaller, but a bit more numerous with the odd surprise uh, big fish. So I'm just gonna have a look at that now, um, just for the final half an hour. Just walking down here to Glandugan. Nice, easy walk. Not like some of these remote mountain lakes, you've got to slog for hours on end, you know, it's only 15 minutes. So, uh, no excuse really. There we go. Clan Dugan. Lovely secluded lake in the heart of Mid Wales. Seems to be very quiet this evening though. Nothing here I can cast to. So I'm going to stick with the lure. Uh, it's sometimes being called the abomination, which is a good enough name for me. But uh, I find it very effective and it does imitate a, 
a variety of um, food items. Newts are quite common in these lakes um, and they're quite large. Um, they're definitely taken by trout. We've got tadpoles, minnows, um, some very large horse leeches actually as well and they swim quite freely in the open water at times so there's actually a number of food things you're imitating with these black um, lures, marabou tails, you know, tadpole type lures is what they are. We've got a bead of varying uh, density to help it sink or you can even fish it without the bead, keep it near the surface. There we go. Took me by surprise this. <laughs> Wasn't expecting a lot. Bang. Good uh, pull on the abomination. And it looks like a cracking fish. So it was worth coming down here after all. I was about to give up and head back. Hooked right in the snout. Looks like a lovely brownie. Look at that. Oh, I got him. Look at that. What a stunner. Absolutely beautiful. There, look at that. That's a, that's a cracking world brown trout. These arborists with Angling Association lakes, they've, they've got to be the best in Wales, in my opinion, for, for wild brown trout of this stamp. Just look at that. Oh, I'm going to put him back now. It's the important thing with these lakes, catch and release. You know, more and more people are doing it. And, and look at the results here, fish like this. Discover fishing in Wales 